It was 1944, and Judy Garland was married then to the director, Vincent Minnelli, with whom she made this delightful period musical, Meet Me in St. Louis. Minnelli's first in color and one of the most likable, touching family musicals ever made, choreographed by Charles Walters with an especially charming performance from little Margaret O'Brien. Like almost all the best musicals made at MGM in the 40s and 50s, Meet Me in St. Louis was produced by veteran songwriter Arthur Freed. They used to call it the Freed Unit. And three years later, they were preparing another period Garland picture to co-star Gene Kelly and featuring 17 Irving Berlin songs. But just before shooting was to start, Kelly sprained his ankle playing volleyball. So Kelly suggested somebody to replace him, somebody who accepted, though he'd formally announced his retirement from pictures two years earlier, Fred Astaire. The picture was Easter Parade, directed this time by Charles Walters, and it began Astaire's career all over again, becoming the second biggest grossing picture of its year, 1948, and featuring at least two classic numbers. One year later, MGM released another Freed Unit musical that turned out to be not only the best 1940s musical, arriving appropriately in the final and perhaps most optimistic year of that war decade, but also a movie that radically changed picture musicals forever, opening the door to all the amazing ones to come in the 50s on the town. New York, New York, a wonderful town. Written by Betty Comden and Adolph Green and co-directed and co-choreographed by Gene Kelly and Stanley Donham, the picture co-starred Frank Sinatra at his most innocent from the city's highest spot atop the famous Woolworth Tower and was the first musical to go on location. Originally, it had been inspired by a Jerome Robbins stage ballet and included probably the longest ballet sequence till that time in American films, not to mention a great many rousing, memorable numbers. Two years later, the Freed Unit went all the way on ballet, and with Gene Kelly as star and choreographer and with Vincent Minnelli directing, they produced one of the very best American musicals, enhanced most of all, perhaps, by the very best score, all of it, by George Gershwin, an American in Paris. With lyrics by Ira Gershwin and introducing French dancer Leslie Caron, the film won the Oscar as Best Picture of 1951. The 18-minute ballet at the end was designed after paintings by artists like Renoir, Van Gogh, and Lautrec. It was also one of Kelly's best tap dance numbers. A year later, the Freed Unit with Kelly and Donnan produced what is arguably the most likable American screen musical, though it won no awards at the time, Singing in the Rain. It's no wonder they're a household name all over It was a grand spoof on the movies, and for this picture, all but one of the songs were old ones by Nassio Herb Brown and producer Arthur Freed. Co-starring Debbie Reynolds and Donald O'Connor, the script was by Common and Green, and referring to the famous title number, the writers aptly called it an irrepressible ode to optimism. You could almost say that about the whole picture. If those three are probably Gene Kelly's finest hours, the following year, that's 1953, the Freed Unit produced what is probably Fred Astaire's finest, The Bandwagon. I love Louisa, Louisa. Yet another Comden and Green script, old songs by Dietz and Schwartz, directed by Vincent Minnelli, choreographed by Michael Kidd, and co-starring Sid Charisse, this was the ultimate backstage musical, made exactly 20 years after Astaire's picture debut. The only new song written for the bandwagon, by the way, perfectly sums up all these continually refreshing MGM musicals. It was written, so they say, in 30 minutes by Dietz and Schwartz when Arthur Freed requested Another song like, there's no business like show business. Some great Shakespearean scene where a goat and a prince meet and everyone ends in mincemeat. The gang may be waving the flag that began with the mystical hand hip hooray. The American way, the world is the stage, the stage is a world of entertainment. 